Well, the big question this afternoon is who will be the next mayor of Eteguin? A short while ago, we got an update from outside the venue where the new councillors are meeting to choose the next mayor. Letuem Juli telling us things are calm and smooth compared to what happened on Monday with disruptions. Police presence very visible and strong outside the venue. But there are some supporters of some political parties, including the ANC and the IFP. And those are the live visuals from inside the venue where we are waiting for the election process of the next mayor to proceed smoothly, unlike what happened on, on Monday. And inside the venue as well is my colleague, Dustin Tatia. We hope to connect with him a little bit later on. But for now, let's get some analysis, political analysis. I'm joined now by independent political analyst, Dr. Protas Majala. Uh, Dr. Majala, good afternoon. Well, we, we, we know what has happened elsewhere in the country. The election of the next mayor in Eteguini Metro was disrupted on Monday, but it looks like this afternoon things are underway already. We're showing our v viewers the live visuals currently of what is happening in there as we track that story. But, but from your perspective, I mean, the, the, the likely outcome in your view in Eteguini, uh, uh, which party would it favor, the DA? <laughs> Well, for a start, I think the, the opposition are questioning the, 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 the voting pattern of, of Monday, the voting, the voting of, this, of the speaker. So I think that's where the hot discussion is going to start. But I think from what I read last night, um, if that is anything to go by, where the IFP seems to be throwing its weight behind the DA, it means that the DA is going to emerge as a winner out of this election. In terms of them getting the leadership position of, of the mayor, I mean, how should we interpret then if that is the uh, outcome that we'll see this afternoon? We have to wait, judging by what has happened elsewhere, particularly here in Gauteng. Certainly, it seems to be a pattern that the ANC, seem countrywide, is on a decline in terms of controlling metros, let alone the, uh, the smaller municipalities. So that will just follow in line with what has happened in Gauté and in Joane and, 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 and Egoruleni as well. Dr. Majala, I'd like to pick your so brain. It would not be a surprise. It would not be a surprise if, if the DA got that support from the IFP and walked away with the mayoral leadership position this afternoon in Eteguini. I, I hear that. Just want to pick your brain about how things have been done. I mean, here in Gauteng, we had certain political leaders saying, I will not work with, I will not go into a coalition with, and then later on changed their minds and then got that party that they say they would not work with to be the, the, the mayor. I mean, the, in the case of Johannesburg, we, we saw the, the, the emergence of the DA in the mayoral position, uh, despite the fact that the likes of the new kid on the block uh, action SA had said they would not support the DA because um, Hemen Mashaba said ahead of that he felt betrayed. So this pattern of people saying I will not do this and then the results become something else. What does it indicate for our political uh, 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 behavior currently? Well, it, it teaches us two things. One, obviously it's always said there are no permanent enemies in politics. But also I, I think that the the, the, I think what we are seeing here is that um, there's been seem to be a lot of lobbying behind the scenes, and um, and uh, I think the the, 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 the action the new kid on the block, the action, action XA, was very firm against the the, the ANC, and they've 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 continued to that line, but they have changed it because they didn't really have a, a too much of a strong line against the DA nationally. But in ANC, they seem to be still sticking to their stand, that uh, they would never vote with what it, uh, Mr. Mashaba called, I won't sleep with the devil. Yes, so, so, so governance-wise, I mean, we saw in the past, since 2016, how uh, these cooperation or co coalitions or partnership agreements can, can cause governance issues. Should we be looking ahead for the next five years at the local level for effective governance or for volatile governance? I hope that the marriage, this marriage of convenience between opposition parties is well thought of because after the honeymoon of this week or today, anything can be very, very, very unstable. 
So I hope they have got plan B to maintain this, this marriage of convenience. Yeah, so let's see what happens in, in Eteguini, but you are likely, you're saying to, we are likely to see IFP backing the DA, therefore the DA emerging a winner. And I mean, at the end of the day, from what we were hearing during the local government election at the beginning of the month and afterwards voters saying, no, we just want service to be delivered. I mean, you mentioned the word lobbying. Should we anticipate a lot of, of, of governance by lobbying, therefore, where, for example, if you want to pass a new budget, at the, at the municipality level or new policy, uh, policies or regulations that are going to uh, affect service delivery? Should we expect that uh, the DA, for example, uh, where it has emerged as a winner in Gauteng and possibly uh, in Eteguini this afternoon, to, to, to govern via a, a lot of lobbying to make sure budgets get passed and policies get approved? Well, that kind of lobbying, I expect it to be amongst the, the parties that are going into this marriage with the, with the, with the TA. I don't think particularly so much with the, with, the, with the ANC, because I think at the moment it seems to be like um, a stepchild in politics, in the South African politics. No one wants to associate with this brand. So I think there will be a lot of lobbying with politics, with smaller politics, political parties and also just there but excluding the air. So they are saying we, we, we want to govern the local municipalities, we have some votes and whatever, but we'll do it, but we don't want the ANC to be part of this. Implications for the ANC? Out of all of this, if you look at how many metros they've secured, they secured Mangaung of the, of the, of the eight metros, Mangaung, Buffalo City, uh, 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 um, the uh, Nelson uh, uh, Mandela Bay metro, but uh, the others uh, currently have gone uh, to the opposition, the likes of Ekuruleni, Tswane, uh, Johannesburg, and now we are waiting to see what's going to happen uh, this afternoon in Eteguin, and they're likely to lose that. Implications for the ANC out of this? You see, the, the, where they have won, it's not so much a big metros at all. I think they're, they, they're very likely to lose, lose the big industrial parts of the country, like it has happened in Tswane, and Johannesburg, and now likely to be to be to fall to, to fall in line. Um, also, I mean, if you quote uh, Nelson Mandela Bay, it was really through the, the through the skin of the teeth there. So just one one vote um, vote vote margin. So even then, it was very 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 thin. So I think there is a feeling perhaps amongst other political parties that the traditional supporters of ANC. Have shown, they have shown their anger against the organisation, and why should we bait it out? Why? I think that has been the thinking, perhaps, unofficial thinking by the IFP to say, why do we have to rescue people who have been rejected by their own traditional uh, uh, followers and supporters? Why should we rescue them? Because the voters have sent a very clear ma mandate that we just don't la support you anymore. Yeah. Uh, finally, and very brief, Dr. Majala. Would it be fair for me to say the ANC is becoming a rural party? It's, it's coming what, sorry? A rural party. I mean, we've seen the urban voters, as you said, expressing their anger against it and abandoning it in droves, not supporting it in this uh, local government elections yet again. Is the ANC becoming a rural party, a party that's got more support in the rural parts of the country? I think it would be safer to say that, like it happened in, with ZANU PF in Zimbabwe. Thank you very much for your insights, uh, Dr. Protas Magala. Unfortunately, the line is not that great. I wish we could talk a little bit, a little bit more. He's, of course, an independent political analyst. His sense is that come the end of today or the end of what we are seeing there in those live pictures, which is this afternoon's attempts to pick the new mayor or the next mayor of Eteguini, the DA will emerge the winner because the IFP would be uh, supporting the, the DA and the ANC is likely, like we've seen in Tswane, Pretoria and Ekuruleni in this latest round of, of mayoral leadership positions, lose uh, to the DA.